Hey there, this is Christy. Welcome. And um, I've been doing daily uploads in this month of April 2019. And today I was um, just kind of inspired to go back to the reading that I did for 2019. I did this reading a couple days before the new year and uh, just kind of went through 2019 by quarter. So I did a re-listen and I was really struck by just how accurate it it, it was so far and especially um, how accurate what came up in that reading is to kind of the messages I'm getting right now for April. So what I thought I'd do today is just take that piece for this coming quarter for April, May, June of this year and play that again for you because I think it might be helpful. Um, it, it certainly it feels helpful to me to revisit that. It feels like there there is, there's always a major shift going on lately, isn't there? But, um, but we are moving, this is moving towards this uh, summer solstice season, which I'm feeling is going to be pretty powerful and preparing for that. So I'm going to play that for you right now. And I'll have a little bit of um, kind of, uh, I'm going to have a little bit more to add at the end um, from the perspective of today right here, moving forward and, and looking forward for the next three months. So I hope you enjoy and I'll, um, so catch you again after this has played and, and talk a little bit more about what's coming forward. We're going to look at, first of all, um, this, this is for the second quarter of 2019, and looking at the Aries season, which would be late March around the equinox to late April. Okay, again, if you are an Aries, this may resonate with you for the entire 2019. Otherwise, we're looking at you know, just kind of forecast for that season of turtle. All right. Hmm. I'm just kind of feeling into turtle and what that might be telling us for this early spring period of 2019. And it's like moving forward with caution. That's what I'm getting here. So this whole reading so far has been really, don't go too fast, you know, move forward. But, you know, look how steadfast this turtle is. He's stepping forward. He really looks like he's, you know, he knows where he's going. He's really deliberate. And you're not going to distract him here. But he's also... You know, he can pull into his shell at any moment. So what this is enabling him to do is because he's not allowing himself to feel rushed and he's also, you know, determined to move ahead, but it's allowing him to go slowly enough to just not like, you know, to, to breathe, okay? Just to, he's not anxious at all, right? So this is really about staying grounded. And I think this is important because this could be a year of a lot of shakeups. Like I said, we've had a lot of energy shifting and there's going to be, there, you know, it's a period of change. Like I just feel like we just came through like this past, this winter solstice feels to me like this tipping point where we're really going to see now things starting to shift and eventually they're, they're, they're shifting for more of a, a, a solar plexus kind of power oriented world to one that's more heart oriented and more connection oriented. But in the process, that, that's, you know, that, that, that can, it can be maybe a little rocky, right? As this shift happens, it may kind of go back and forth from one to another or pockets of, you know, um, sometimes when something is being displaced, it starts to fight back. So there might be some of this happening. So what Turtle is really saying is, you know, move forward and just, you know, keep the protection around you, like keep your spiritual protection around you. Um, you know, don't 
feel like you have to be bullied or rushed though, right? Um, okay, so the next card will be for the following month, the season of Taurus, which would be late April through late May. If you're a Taurus, this may resonate with you for all of 2019. Otherwise, this is for the season of Taurus 2019 wizard. Okay. So like I said, these are cards that I am not all that familiar with. And I'm not really feeling into it because lizard is not, I don't, we don't, we don't have lizards in, in upper Michigan. So not to my knowledge, it's pretty far north for them. Um, so it's not an animal I've been working with a lot lately. So I'm going to feel into it. And I know there are lots of different kinds of lizards and part of it is seeking the sun and i'm really seeing these yellow dots on this particular lizard as solar is kind of sun-like um, so really remembering as we move forward into the summer is to continue to hold ourselves to the light to continue to really focus and vision on the light okay whatever that means to you you know whatever is in alignment with um you know, divine purpose, you know, that, that has that kind of, that's what I mean by light. That does not mean that dark is always bad, right? <laughs> you know, so I, I, I'm hoping that you understand what I mean by dark and light in this context, but really staying focused on that light, bringing it in, sunning ourselves, right? So any kind of, a lot of these creatures like lizards and snakes, it's cold-blooded. So like, this is speaking, I think, to the ego here. Um, you know, the ego being unable, like I'm talking the lower ego, just is not connected, it's separated. And so it's almost like a cold-blooded thing. It can't, the ego cannot light itself up, right? For that, it needs to hold itself up to, um, you know, up to creator, up to the divine, right? And it's, when we're really connected with the divine, then that gives us the energy to move forward. That gives the warmth that really brings everything to life in a beautiful way. So summertime, again, there may be shakeups. Really encouragement is to stay focused on the light, bring in the light. And, um, you know, even if there are some things that are not so pretty happening around us, just just having faith. And this is the season of increasing sunlight, right? Okay, so the last card for the second quarter of 2019, this will be for the season of Gemini, and which will be late May through about the summer solstice. Alligator, wow, look at all these, look at all these reptiles. Look at all these reptiles. Wow. So alligator, and I'm getting really, even though it's like alligator and not crocodile, I'm really getting crocodile from this. I'm getting something about just like this Egypt connection um, from this thing. And I, I'm not sure even what that means. <laughs> um, but I'm just sort of getting this, this image of a pyramid, right? That pyramidal shape. And again, um, you know, pointing towards heaven, pointing towards the sun. So I'm, I'm really feeling this may be a real portal, okay? This coming summer solstice may be, what I'm kind of feeling from this is that just like this, this winter solstice, I feel has been a humongous portal, right? Opening for new energies and, and changing, you know, good changes happening. I'm feeling like this summer solstice is also going to be a tremendous energy portal. And I think that's why this is all kind of showing up as solar, solar, solar. Um, and, you know, moving into that with great reverence, I think we need to really be cognizant that this summer solstice will be a very sacred time. And to maybe do even, I know we're all tired of purifying, <laughs> we're all tired of purging, but maybe even take these next six months from this winter solstice to the summer solstice and really consider it a period of 
pre preparation, of purification, of, um, you know, I think a lot of us have become more aware of what our purpose is. We're starting to realize, um, you know, why we're here on this earth and to really take this next six months and make this almost like a ceremony, turn your life into a ceremony um, to, to kind of prepare to open a step into this energy more fully. Okay. So taking the time and really preparing and opening for the sun and preparing, just holding ourselves to the sun. So that was the reading for the second quarter this April, May, June of 2019. And I just had a few things to add to that. And by the way, the card deck that I was using um, for those three months, it was the Medicine Cards deck from Jamie Sams and David Carson. So I just wanted to mention that and uh, give them their due. Okay, so what I'm seeing as a, sort of an overall energy update here for this quarter is that we have right now like it's like collectively a, a portion of humanity and that would include myself and most likely you if you're resonating with this definitely um, that's coming into our Christ essence right so this is a big part of humanity stepping into the Christ self stepping into that uh, kind of more um, you know, just coming, becoming whole and stepping into our power as Christed beings, as um, human beings who are really aligned and in tune with our higher selves. This is, you know, stepping into our healing present power to, to be on this planet. This is, you know, if you resonate with being a star seed at all or a light worker, this is really this kind of energy that's coming in right now is enabling us to really step in and start doing the work that we're here to do on the planet, really stepping into our purpose and, and opening up to do that in, in a more expanded way. So it's really exciting stuff. Um, it's also, it's all about the solar plexus chakra. It's about the personal, you know, power, the, in, in including your personal will, the will to, to um, step into your own power, okay, to say no to whatever kind of empiric energy is trying to suck away your power. Uh, so this is a big thing, and like really big. And, and, and so it deserves to be addressed like um, in a way that this, this may require some slowing down, okay? Because anytime that there is a big shift, sometimes we have to really slow to do it. Imagine a brain surgeon, right? You don't want a brain surgeon rushing through that surgery. They have to be very, very deliberate. Um, this is a really good time to breathe. And there's, there's some reasons for this, okay? It's, it's about the solar plexus, but it's also about marrying the solar plexus to the heart, to the heart energy, to the love energy, okay? And these are, are two energies that for a long, long time have been kind of opposed to each other, okay? It's been the heart versus the will, the heart versus power, love versus power, and they're coming together now so that love becomes the power, but it requires a sea change, a, an incredible just shift from one way of being to the other. That's the third to fourth dimension that we're, we're stepping into now, the fourth dimension. And it's, um, it really requires a, a more discernment and um, things are a little bit more fine-tuned when we step into that fourth dimension. And um, so it's, it's sort of like, I was thinking the other day, it's sort of like, this is maybe what it feels like if you're a computer to be upgraded. <laughs> like, you know, when the computer is being upgraded, it has to shut down for a while. It's, you're, it, you know, it's not gonna be functioning the way it normally does, okay? Even if you can upgrade in the background, it may slow down uh, the works a little bit. And so you may have, be experiencing a slowdown right now, or if you're not, you may 
find that just by slowing down a little bit, it, it may facilitate what you're doing. And what I've been finding is like, I have some physical things that have been coming forward that has forced me to slow down. But what I've been finding, ironically, the more I slow down, it's like I get so much more traction that things are getting things done, even though I'm spending a lot of time sleeping, a lot of time with self-care. Um, it reminds me of my ex used to be a competitive swimmer, and he told me that it, it, like the good competitive swimmers, they learn to really kind of push the water um, and use their muscles more efficiently. And their stroke actually, their stroke pattern actually slows down. Their, their hands are not flailing as fast. It's going much slower, but they're going much faster through the water. And that's the kind of dynamic that you may find if you do allow yourself to slow down and breathe through life rather than flailing the arms, right? Um, so this slowing down is, is super important right now. Protection is another thing that's coming forward, looking at the turtle, especially right now for April. Um, but all these animals, they're all covered with scales, right? They've got these, these, this protective skin. Um, we have a lot of protection. So always keep in mind that, you know, the protection is really important to know that we're protected that we have divine protection. And one of the most powerful aspects of divine protection, there's two of them I wanna mention. Um, one is faith, right? Just knowing, just know that light is stronger than dark. You know, that this, um, you know, whatever vampiric energy is in there, if you hold to the light, you know, just know that things work out, things, work out as long as you're focused in on the light focus on the divine everything else falls away okay and you may be challenged but as long as you stay that focus you know knowing that things are aligning you know that that love is there that as long as we stay focused, it's, it's, it is going to be all right. Um, so that faith really, really is a very, very strong protection. Um, the Archaia faith is a, an archetype. It's like the twin flame of Archangel Michael. So if you can imagine Michael and this beautiful female kind of version of Michael, but she's very loving and a color very much like this, this, this light blue. Um, that lady faith and hold her in your field uh, and, and that can be very protective and the other thing that i want to mention in terms of protection is self-love love itself is a power and love is the strongest power there is and that when we turn that love on ourselves we're really feeding that solar plexus in a way that feeds that christ essence okay so the more self-love and self-care sometimes things that are challenging that really feel like they're beating us down it's just coming forward in order to in order to get us to have some compassion for ourselves and to start practicing self-love at an even deeper level so that's coming forward right this is a really good month for self-care and really practicing self-love self-compassion at a very 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 deep level um, and the reason this is important is, and I, I'm continuing to get that feeling that there may be some, some serious shakeups this year, and this may be politically as well as energetic. Um, you know, I don't want to say the W word or anything, but, um, and, and I'm not saying, please, please don't fear, because this is just something that is likely to happen, and I'm not saying it has to, but it could happen in the collective as this energy is coming in as this Christ energy is coming in is because there are dark energies on the planet too and they're not going to give up without a fight this is just flushing up the darkness so that it can be healed okay and this is something that in healing we call it a healing crisis um, sometimes when we start a treatment the symptoms start flaring up first before they get better so if there are shakeups this year this is what's happening on an energetic level. So do not fear, don't fall into the fear. There's gonna be a lot of, you know, if we do get political shakeups, there's gonna be a lot of attempts in the media, especially to make us 
fear, okay, to get us into that fear and anxiety mode, don't do it, okay? Just know, embrace it. Be grateful for it, not not for whatever's happening, but just be grateful that this is being up, coming up to be healed, and our part in it is to stay very grounded. Um, so that's what this is all about this quarter, is to help us to come into that grounding, okay? Like, we have this big surge of energy, this big blossoming of wake, awakening, and um, but the, the staying grounded is super, super important, okay? So the more grounded we can be, the more centered we are in our faith and in the love that's in our hearts, the more powerful that is, okay? So this is literally a battle here right now on the planet between light and dark without getting overly dramatic about it, you know, but this this is what's happening because it's this healing crisis. Um, and just know that I have gotten this message recently that there are like as this christ essence comes forward as we start really grounding into that it's calling in reinforcements from elsewhere in the galaxy if this is something you would like me to write or do a video on totally tell me in the comments because i will do that i i just yeah i i got this very clear message um so please tell me and i will do a video if you want to hear the details on that um but but absolutely, the more we ground ourselves and center into that self-love and, and the love energy um, and really focus in on the light and the divineness of who we are, the more grounded we are, the, you know, the, the more it's going to, the more powerful it's going to be, okay? And as we do this together, it becomes even more powerful. Um, because they have no power for, power over it, okay? Um, you know, even though these reptilian forces, you know, they're going to react, they're not going to take it lying down, but they have no power over us. The only way they can get at us is through our own minds by trying to get us to focus away from the light and away from the truth of who we are and onto drama, okay? They're trying to get us to focus on drama and go into anxiety land. Not gonna work as long as we are aware of that and stay focused on who, are, who we are, divine love, and um, you know what our purpose is to anchor that love and to spread it, okay? Um, and it does take discipline, okay? But we do have control over our minds and that's, what we're being asked to do. Um, you're going to be like, honestly, and it matters less what you do right now and more like just who you are, you know, just the act of being, the act of being grounded, okay? It's gonna be more good for the planet to sit home in your kitchen and make jam in a grounded state of being than it is to do all sorts of great things, great things for the planet in a state of anxiety. I'm gonna say that again. You'll do more good sitting in your kitchen making jam in a grounded state of being or sleeping in a grounded state of being, or whatever it is you're doing in a grounded state of being, you're gonna do more good for the planet than doing great things in a state of anxiety, okay? So that's how important this is right now to really come in um, and whatever, if you're sensing any kind of anxiety in yourself, address it and this may come up as physical tension may come up as anxiety symptoms it could come up as a feeling of gotta do it gotta do it gotta do it it could be mental mind whatever it is and the encouragement is to just really right now come into center practice the breathing um you know the meditation allowing yourself to rest giving yourself the exercise you need all the basic self-care super super important right now and knowing that the more grounded we get time does expand to allow the purpose that we you know that we're here for to start to manifest there is more time than we think okay we've got all the time we need there's all the time we need you have all the time 
you need. So do what you need to do to take care of yourself. Stay focused on, you know, you might do, listen to the guidance. You'll be told what to do. And um, things are, you know, this is really a beautiful, beautiful time to be alive. So uh, thanks for watching and um, would love to hear your comments on this. And um, just have a lovely, lovely week. Um, I'm going to be continuing to upload daily videos. Uh, some of them are going to be very short, uh, some longer um, throughout the month of April. So if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Be sure to hit that little bell and you'll be notified of new videos as they get uploaded. Um, and this is throughout the month of April. It'll be daily. And if you feel like you would not like some help in getting to that grounded state or with, um, you know, any kind of uh, the spiritual awakening process, I do offer sessions and uh, coaching work around that. So the link to that is below. Also, uh, check out my spirit animal cards. I've got the link to that book below to that below as well. Um, and have a lovely day. We'll catch you again tomorrow.